What's up guys? Welcome back to BC Garage and we're here with another video in back-to-back -back weeks. I'm on a roll here and if you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time your boy drops a new video. It's very important that you hit that bell because they don't call me Mr. Inconsistent for nothing. Yeah, today we're going to talk about some shoes I got in. If you didn't already, please go over to Beastly Reviews. I did a detailed review of this shoe and it's probably gonna answer a lot of the questions that you guys will have. I know you guys will have questions because you always hit me in my DMs after I post videos like that. But if you still have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Beastly underscore GT on Instagram and I'll be sure to answer those questions as soon as I possibly can. Now, you see in the background here, we do have ourselves some Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. And uh, yeah, I just had to go ahead and come on my main channel and do a review or not really review, just talk about these shoes because they're freaking nice. Like not just that particular pair, the shoe in itself is nice. I mean, it's a Travis Scott, a fragment and uh, I like it. And we're gonna take a look at it. And then I'm gonna talk to you about, you know, why I decided to go with a UA uh, shoe. I'm sure as most of you know, to get a retail pair, it's gonna be damn near impossible. You all saw last week how it was hard to get the Travis Scott ones. I mean, really, who do you know that got a pair besides like sniper kicks or something? <laughs> but really, who do you know that got a retail pair of those? It's, it's ridiculous. I just wanna get shoes so I can rock them. So I say, you know what? I'm gonna do what I have been doing probably for the last year or so and uh, go ahead and uh, get someone to send me out a pair. And I do have to say, I did not buy these pair. They were sent to me free as a gift. So um, if you wanna know who sent those to me again, check out my other video on BC Reviews and uh, it'll give you all the information you want. Let me just go ahead and pull these out so we can have some point of reference here. So it is the Air Jordan 1 times Travis Scott times Fragment release. And here, I'm not gonna go into details because Go to BC Reviews if you want to see the detailed review. And the shoe is in here. Let's pull it out. Da -da. There we go, boys. The Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Fragment Design Collaboration. This shoe in itself is a dope shoe. But now, talking specifically about the pair that I have in hand, damn, this shoe is clean. We all know Jordans, they have factory flaws. They all have factory flaws. One of the things that drew me into my first UA was the Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs when they first came out. The Mocha pair. Yeah, I saw the inconsistencies in those shoes and I was like, there's no way you can tell a fake Travis Scott. I mean, who's pulling out a black light when you're rocking a shoe on foot? Like I wish somebody would walk up to me with a black light. Fortunately for me, I did hit on retail pair for the Travis Scotts. Talking about these right here. I did hit for a retail pair on the uh, sneakers app and then I had a decision to make. I was like, damn, I like them, but do I want to wear them? Because at the time they were going for a thousand dollars. Right now they're going for like $1,600. So I made a wise decision, I think, to not throw those bad boys the feet and to keep them DS. And you can see right here, this box, that is my original Travis Scott ones that I hit on sneakers. I have not worn those and I will probably never wear those shoes because I got these and these are UA and I have been rocking the crap out of these for the last two years. As you can see, it's it's very worn. I, I mean, I, when I say I beat it up, I wear this shoe all the time and it's held up great. Two years, most people never known unless I told them that they were UA. And it was the best decision ever because now I got an investment over there. That is a dope shoe, but it's a shoe that I'll never see the foot because right now, $1,600 or whatever these shoes might go up to is worth more to me than uh, being able to wear it. I feel very confident that these are gonna definitely hold up for the beating that I'm going to give them. An easy to wear shoe, it's blue, black, white, sale. I mean, come on, who can't wear this shoe? So a lot of people that are gonna hit for retail, they're never gonna wear it. They're never gonna wear it. There's gonna be so many people that hit for these shoes. Well, maybe not so many people. There's gonna be a few people that hit for retail for this shoe and they're never going to wear it. And unfortunately, you can't do what you like to do as a sneakerhead the most, which is not cop, but wear. Wear comes first. I'd rather wear a shoe. I don't just wanna say I got it sitting in the closet up on a shelf, up in some type of protectant, you know, vault. No, no, I wanna wear the shoe. I wanna wear it. So it doesn't make sense for me to spend $3,000 
I'm not spending $3,000 on any article of clothing, accessory, or anything. It just ain't happening. So the only way for me to be able to get this shoe and wear it, this is the best option. I don't know, judge me if you wanna, but hey, I've been doing it for the last year or so now. Um, I did the Chunky Donkey video. I have been rocking my Chunky Donkeys. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I wore them to the beach this past summer and uh, I enjoyed them. I didn't have any worries. I didn't worry about nobody stepping on them. I wore them on an actual beach, like through the sand. If it was a real pair, I'd be all nervous about every little thing that happened to them. So no, it's very free rocking. And initially, I will say it did start off with just like high shoes, like the high price shoes, shattered backboards, unions. Yes, I did get all those type of shoes uh, through the alternative method, as I like to call it. Check out my uh, Beastly Reviews channel if you haven't. I keep plugging it. I, I wear unions on the regular. I wear um, Travis Scott's on the regular. I wear off-whites on the regular because I like those shoes. Not because I'm trying to be a hype beast, because I like a lot of shoes, but I also wear regular GRs on the regular. It doesn't matter if it's a nice shoe and I have the right fit to go with it, I, I get to wear it. And that's the freedom that I get from not being so close-minded that I'm just gonna turn my nose up to a shoe that didn't get purchased from Nike or Foot Locker. One of the shoes I wear a lot is the Hyper Royals. Now they don't cost a thousand dollars, but they're up there around that three to four to five hundred dollars. And and honestly, I was just thinking that, you know what, I think these shoes are gonna go up. So the retail pairs that I hit for, guess what? I didn't wear them. I decided to wear one of my gifted pairs right here. Because if you've seen, I did a video, a couple videos back on this channel, there's very, very minimum differences between the retail pair of these and the alternative pair that I have. So why should I devalue a retail pair that I can use as investment and possibly, you know, use that to fund other things I like to do, maybe sneakers, cars, guns, whatever. I just rock these all day long, you know what? No one is ever the wiser. These are all shoes that I rock on the regular. This is a UA pair of mochas. They're getting up there, I think the four to $500 range, they'll probably even go up higher. And uh, I knew if I copped a retail pair of these, actually I had the UA pair before I got the retail pair. So it really was no question as to whether or not I was gonna wear the retail pair. I was like, no way, I got these. I'm gonna put those retail pairs up. Cause I got three pairs of retail on the Mochas and the Hyper Royals and none of them are ever going to foot. I'm just gonna continue to beat these up. And you know what happens? After they get beat up to the point that, uh, that I don't wanna wear them anymore, I'll toss them and I'll go buy more pairs to beat up because it'll be cheaper to do that than to undes a retail pair of mochas. That's this way, the way I think, I'm sorry, this is, this is. So we gotta talk about it. The negative side of the UA, see? Cause I like to buy UAs to rock, but then you have those that wanna buy UAs to pass them off as a retail authentic pair, and then that is wrong. That's the wrong part. That's why I do not sell any of my UA shoes. I do have people contacting me all the time, asking me if they could purchase the shoes that I received through the other channel. And uh, no, I tell them, I do not sell, I do not give them away, I do not do anything with those shoes. I only wear them. And once I'm done wearing them, I will destroy them or throw them out. There will never ever be uh, uh, someone that can say that Beastly Garage contributed to me being scammed. That will never happen. So if you hit me up in the DMs and you ask me to send you a pair of my UAs, just know it's just never, it's never gonna happen, sorry. Never gonna happen. They're for me to rock, for me only. So that's it. I just wanted to show you guys these shoes that I picked up and uh, I think they dope. If you didn't, go ahead, check out my review on Beastly Reviews. Again, another plug. Actually, I'll put it like, uh, put a link right right here, right now. But you gotta go for these regardless because they, they're reselling for $3,000. So of course, I'm gonna go for them. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna enter all the raffles. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna try to get them. But if I don't, eh, I still got a pair to rock. I'm good. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of this join with some Travis Scott nose. So I